Okay, my garage is finally almost done. I mean, it's it's pretty much done. I've got everything in here that I probably need or want. So this is what I've been working towards this all winter long. So it probably weighs 100 pounds or so. So the strike kit on it. Not perfect, but. That's what I've been working towards. I don't know what you can see and what you can't see from there, but that's what I've been working towards. Um, let's try to turn this thing a bit. But that's what I've been working for. That's what the bench is all about. That's what all the lights are all about. The hoist, everything. Getting that mower up onto a work surface where I can service it myself. I took it to a, a shop last fall, fall of 2018, and they completely fucked it up. Um, the throttle control, there is no throttle control. It's either idling or wide open. There's, they screwed that up. The transmission for the self-propel, first three, first three gears, there's nothing happening anymore. Third gear, it finally starts to, to move. Um, so, uh, I decided I needed to work on it myself, so I bought shop manuals for it. And the only reason I took it to the shop last year was because I didn't have a place to work on it, because I didn't have this bench yet. I hadn't built it yet. And so I, there was no way I was going to be able to lay on the ground, on the floor, to do all the adjusting. There's just, you know, I figured I'd let a professional deal with it. Well, screw that. I, like I said, I bought a a shop manual for it when I first got it last year from Amazon. It's the full how to do everything, how to turn every nut, how to adjust every millimeter, everything. So um, I have everything now except all the tools that I need to, to work on it. But I just installed the hoist tonight. Let's see if we can get a look at it. Uh, hard to see, kind of, since it's since we've got so many lights around it. But there it is, Harbor Freight, $100.00. Um, 220 pounds. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit more. Yeah, 220 pounds, regular. And then you hook it up with the, the pulley. And it doubles it. To 440 pounds. So again, this, this mower with this heavy-duty stripe kit from uh, Big League Lawns Checkmate Stripe Kit adds a lot of weight, it adds 18 to 20 pounds to it. So I put this mower away last year, at the end of the year. Um, there's my cover for it. My genuine Honda, my genuine, come on, get down there. My genuine Honda cover for it, right? So I had it under cover last year, or last this past winter, um, which is good because there was a lot of sawdust that it accumulated everywhere on everything because you know trying to build this this bench. Let me turn the lights on for the bench. Just for the, there we go. Say so. I have a full workbench and nice John Deere vise. Nice John Deere vise. Um, got my heat out here. Got me a nice multi multi-purpose ladder. This would help me put that thing up there. And so, yeah, my garage is pretty much done. Now in six months I'm moving out of this house. So I've done all this basically for just this mowing season. And then all this has got to come out of here. That bench is so overbuilt and heavy. That thing even with nothing on it, is at least 500 pounds. It was everything I could do just to scoot it into place and back up against the wall because I built it out in the middle of the floor here. And it took everything I had to scoot it back up against the wall there. Um, but everything I've done, I've done by myself. I don't have, I'm don't you know, living here alone. I don't have any help, so everything I've done, I've done it myself. Um, but, yeah, 
So I'm excited. I finally got my hoist up. That's what I was working towards was getting this bench built and getting all the electrical lines run. I run heavy duty wire. That's this yellow one is 10 gauge. Uh, this orange one I think is 16 gauge, but this is 10 gauge line and it runs over to um, here and then I put a power strip on the back uh, along the back of my bench there and it's plugged directly into the 10 gauge line so any kind of power tools I'm going to use I want to get a, a, a bench sa uh, a sand table sander table saw band saw and um, a um, drill press um, Harbor Freight's got all that stuff for unbelievably low prices and I'm doing all this research I can on Harbor Freight and seems like their tools are fairly reliable these days so I'm just gonna go with it and, and see what happens you know uh, the prices are so low that even with the you buy the two-year uh, extended warranty and the time you pay for that it's still nowhere near what a snap-on or, or a Milwaukee or some other kind of tool like that would call not even close and in two years if you keep up with it you can take it back and turn it in for a brand new one whether it's broken or not that's their policy you take the, the you buy the two-year warranty and after two years you take the tool back and exchange it for a brand new one whether it's broken whether it's running or not if it's working running perfectly fine you can still take it in for a brand new one so i can't really complain about that about that um return policy i need to re plasti dip these back wheels they look really bad i don't know why it came off no it did but it did the fronts held up much better but the backs both sides on the back need to be redone so that's one of the things i'm going to do and then and then just get it ready to to um to rock and roll this this season and uh, mow the lawn and make nice stripes and grass and not weeds this time because i've done a lot of work in the yard too a lot of work and it's not even my yard i put a lot of work and time and money into it it's not even my property but I live here now, and someday I will have a property. My fiance and I will get married, and we'll have our own property. And why not use this one as a test bed? You know, why not experiment with it? I'm going to have to spend the money anyway, so why not use it? Use this time that I have and this property that I have to to kind of you know test it out. So thanks for watching. Bye.